what up youtube dj k coming to you with another video in this video we're gonna be checking out the new mark four track dj controller not gonna really mess with the effects that much it does pretty much control the effects too uh as far as this strip search control on her i don't think it's not doing anything when i do this but i don't know if you got to engage something for it to work i'm not sure um everything else works as far as the controls the 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 gain the treble the mids the bass all that stuff works fine all the levels are decent i gotta keep them low for this video because it'll be distorted if i don't because i'm using the actual sound card inside this to record the audio for this video okay so we're gonna just play with the jog wheels a little bit and then i'm gonna tell you guys what i think about the jog wheels i already played with them already and i already got my opinion on what i think about them and uh we'll get to that in a minute let me go ahead and uh just scratch a little bit so you guys can just check it out hear it and then i'll be back on the mic in a second
Yeah, hold up. So I'm back on the mic. Hopefully it ain't too loud, y'all. Anyway, y'all saw what it was doing. I'm scratching and it was actually skipping like a record, which is got something to do with calibration, I think. And that's I don't think it's something that can be really fixed. Maybe they can fix it with some mapping. I'm not really sure. But um from what I just experienced and what you guys just heard, you heard it, you saw it skipping like a record. And that's like it shouldn't happen with mp3s come on now this is not a there's not a needle on here you know <laughs> but yeah i think that's got some kind of calibration issue on the jog wheels because i'm scratching with it and it's skipping so that's kind of retarded but it, it did do that as you can see i'm not tripping off of it because like i said i, I paid 200 dollars for this thing i mean it's usable you know if you're not gonna be trying to do all what i just did which you won't be doing that much when you're doing a party anyway you won't be scratching your butt off because people don't like that when you get the scratching all crazy plus it's kind of little i ain't gonna say it's, it's played out in some areas like the united states or whatever but it ain't really played out overseas for real that much but uh, over here people don't really care for it. it's like a old thing that people ain't really hip to this young this new generation ain't tripping off nobody no dj scratching but you can use it to dj a party so i will say that it's usable but other than as far as it being perfect i would say it's not perfect on the jog wheels that's just my opinion uh and that's got something to do with the fact that they didn't create the software newmark didn't but and then native instruments constantly coming out with updates so they have to they have to be right there with Native Instruments. When they come out with an update, they got to be right on their toes, test their product to make sure that it is working properly on the new updates that's coming out. They just came out with an update. We're on track to 2.6.7, a critical update that just came out, I think, yesterday or the day before yesterday. It came out this week. So that Newmark has to address issues with the with the software they gotta you know make it make it compatible or make, work out the bugs work out this bug with this because that's a bug to me with the uh jog wheel not really working right like it should in my opinion it don't work perfect but like i said two hundred dollars it's a decent deal to me i'm not really tripping off of that but for somebody who that's all they got is this controller they might be a little angry or man or whatever and it may have other issues because I did go on YouTube and I did search out some other videos and people had some issues with the uh, with these platters. They had some issues with the jog wheels. So, and I the, I don't know if that's the issue they had, but I'm, I, there are videos on YouTube with these with jog wheel issues. So yeah, that's something that they need to address. New Mark, if you see this video, which you, I know you will, because I'm gonna put it on your Facebook page so you guys can see this. But you do have an issue with the jog wheels. On Track to Scratch uh, Pro 2.6.7. I don't know about the other versions. Like when y'all first came out, I think the, your child will be promoting is 2.2.6, but they are now on 2.6.7 update. They just came out with an update January 2014, you know, like a couple of days ago. So, in order for the product to stay, you know, working properly, they have to be right there with Native Instruments or any other company that does products and rely on another software vendor like Native Instruments. They got to stay up on their updates. They got to be right there with them neck and neck with these updates so it'll work, you know, so it'll work properly. With that being said, drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think about. I already know what y'all think about Newmark already. <laughs> Most of y'all DJs out there already know what y'all think about Newmark. Newmark, y'all just don't understand that people don't really like y'all products that much, but they don't. I mean, they'll rock Serato, which I don't know if that's a Newmark product. That ain't no, that's not really a Newmark product, but yeah, everybody know about Newmark. So Newmark's been around for a long time, making some pretty much junk y'all you know <laughs> other than i don't know about the ns7 that might be a great product i don't know i can't speak on it never really played with it would love to have one just to you know check it out test it out and see what it can do but uh, i'm gonna drop this video on newmark's facebook and just let them check it out and uh, hopefully they will address the issues with the jog wheels it's just something that needs to be addressed that's all i'm not tripping off of it i still can use it it's still usable you know uh, I'll still play with it, play around with it. Nice looking controller, looks great. Has a lot of nice features that I like. It has a microphone. You know, you can you got two lines. You can use mics on. Actually, you can you can use the line. Yeah, you can use uh yeah you can use C and D for your microphone. I'm talking through D right now, and that's great. I like that. 
that's something that Native Instruments did not do with the S4. They didn't make it to where you can use, you can use the mic with the jog wheels, but if you're using control vinyl, you cannot use the mic with the tractor control S4 that I have, the first generation S4. I don't know about the second generation, but the first generation, you plug in that mic in a line and it will cancel out one of the lines to where one of your turntables will not work if you got control vinyl on, that's on the S4. For some strange reason, it does that. But I call it a design flaw. People was getting pissed because they said they was working with new with native instruments on it, and it's not a design flaw. And I'm like, yes, it is because people want to talk on their mic, if they, especially if they're using a control vinyl. They might want to use tractor control vinyl, and they might want to talk through their their S4, but they can't because they plug it up. Then their one their their, their left or right turntable gonna go out. It ain't gonna work because one of the lines gonna be used up by the microphone. But anyway. Drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think. I thank you all for subscribing and liking the videos. More videos are coming. And that's about it. Make sure you like the Facebook page at facebook.com slash hitcreatormusicfans. And I'll catch you on the next video.